Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, we got ourselves breaking news alert of the New England Patriots, which I wish ended up trading Matthew Judon. They end up trading him to the Atlanta Falcons, which was the Seahawks, for exchange of a third round draft pick. Now, I, this is a very interesting tip trade to talk about, and I think it's for numbers of reasons. But before we get into today's video, if you want to see more content um, in football, like and subscribe, I highly recommend. And also, go watch my playlist of every team before the season, because I have dedicated to every single 32 teams, not by the time I'm recording this, but I have dedicated time to do every 32 teams and soon i will be making my playoff prediction or not my playoff predictions my season predictions and also playoff predictions before the nfl season has officially started and what things like this has happened i'm kind of glad i have waited as long as i have because i probably would have made this video already by now by the time of recording this. so yeah so i'm glad i've been waiting on it but but anyway guys enough said Let's get into the video. So, obviously, have you heard, Matthew Judon has now officially gotten traded to the Atlanta Falcons. And we were hearing this rumor coming out because of, well, there are a lot of reasons. One, the Patriots, they're just not the same Patriots anymore. The Patriots are clearly in a rebuild, and they're definitely not going to start to get winning anytime soon, I imagine. They do got good stars, I'm not going to lie, for the future. And players like Drake May... Robin Stevenson, Mike Ugna, uh, Michael Owinu, actually, I think is his name. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. And Christian Gonzalez. They do got some, you know, good players to build around. It's just like, this is not a good team. They have a lot of holes all over the roster. And this is kind of just confirming of what their expectations are heading into the season. Them trading Matthew G down to the Falcons is kind of just saying, yeah. Keep your expectations revitarily low. While the Falcons, this trade basically says, hey, we're going all in with Kirk Cousins. Sort of, because they traded for, well, they drafted Michael Penix, but just, you don't, I just gotta mention that. Um, so yeah, they're kind of saying they're going all in, and there you go. So honestly, not gonna lie, I like this trade for both sides. Here's why. Because the Patriots, they're getting a draft pick for where they could potentially end up getting maybe a decent draft pick. The Falcons, they get a pass for sure, but this team desperately needed because they end up drafting Michael Penix instead of getting, I don't know, Lottie Lotto or Dallas, Tur Dallas Turner or Byron Murphy, etc. Or trading down to get them. I don't know why they still drafted Michael Penix, but I don't know why. And they also didn't end up drafting just as Zahn Newton, which was very surprising too. So, yeah, I'm I'm personally surprised by all the stuff that's been happening. Um, and again, like I said, for the Patriots, they get a future player who could end up playing out very well, or they could use that to trade up into the general draft if needed. Now, I feel like for both sides here is very interesting. The Patriots, without a doubt, I have to give an A+. At least they're recognizing, like, hey, we're going to suck this year. <laughs> okay? We're going to suck this year, and that's okay. We need to kind of just build for the future, not now. And that's what they did, and I totally love that. Well, obviously, I don't like that, because I don't want to see the Patriots go into the next, like, 17 years. But anyway... You kind of could get the point. And then for the Falcons, I think I also give this an A plus as well. Or, you know what? I think I'll give it an A. I think A sounds fair. The only reason why I give it to an A is because of a couple of reasons. One, you're trading a third round pick for a 33-year-old. I think a 33-year-old. Like somewhere around in the 30s at least. And two, he's injury prone. Those are the big problems. But if this team hypothetically can make Matthew Judon basically that prime time non-injury prone outside linebacker that he was with the Patriots. Oh boy, this guy could be a 
devastating wrecking machine on this defensive line, and I don't think that's even a question. Without a doubt, I think Matthew Judon heading into the season could be one of the greatest players on this team, on especially defensively. And, you know, it, it, and it kind of also makes sense, you know, with Raheem Morris being a first-time defensive coordinator and stuff like that. I still question that hiring to the state. Why the hell did you hire him? That's another video to be discussed. But, um... Yeah, but anyways, guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of short, but, like, there's nothing big to talk about. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.